last uh, couple days, um, we were put on a, 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 a small sense of heightened alert prior to Hurricane I I Izell. And um, uh, my soldiers from Bravo Company, which is composed of uh, big island soldiers throughout the island of uh, Hawaii, you know, got soldiers from Kona, Hilo, Waikoloa. Um, we were in prep for response to uh, disaster support for civil authorities. And that's what we've been prepping for the last couple of days. And then, um, you know, last uh, yesterday morning, we got a call from the uh, EOC. Uh, there was a request for action for uh, debris cleanup. So uh, we quickly responded and composed of uh, 15 soldiers that made up uh, two clearing teams and a lead, which is myself, uh, to assist the uh, Puna County and uh, civil authorities with uh, debris cleanup. So, you know, a lot of challenges the, the locals have been facing with the first thing is they, they, uh, they were pretty much shut down, locked out from the outside sources of uh, support. Uh, you know, uh, just personal things such as food, water, uh, communication. I, I'm pretty certain from uh, today, uh, it's uh, two days after the storm, uh, there's still no power or uh, telephone lines uh, south of Puna, uh, south and east of Puna area. So communication and uh, things, you know, natural things uh, we take on an everyday granted thing for just as living, um, they have been isolated from because of uh, down debris and uh, main access, main thoroughfares have all been blocked to them. Um, specifically, we, we, we're working on the Highway 132. Highway 132 services is a main thoroughfare from the people of the Puna District, closer to the beach and outlanding area, up into um, main sources of the town where the stores are. Um, this, this thoroughfare that we uh, worked with together with the county and cleared out, um, you know, which you know, looks, looks, looks very promising to be open by tomorrow. Services the people in this Leilani District area and uh, Kapoho area to uh, you know, access local stores, schools, uh, even polling places, you know. Pohoa High School is right at the end of this road that uh, today was a voting time. So that, that was created a challenge for a lot of people. I have soldiers from all over the island and uh, their will, their commitment to uh, the state of Hawaii, their, their people in their town. It, it, it's just, you know, it's just amazing that what they will do um, uh, for their brother, their sister, and their neighbor. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I just got tremendous support from everybody here on the island. The uh, 299 CAV has been tremendous support for us. The Air Guard and, um, you know, the colony working with everybody, making a whole joint mission made it really uh, rewardful. Or can you? Yeah, from the other way. You just can't get through here. Oh. I just don't remember the name of the turn there. I just not here. I don't remember the name. Yeah, you just got home? No, that's my mother-in-law's place. Oh, okay, we came earlier. Yeah, no, I was mowing the grass. Oh. I had to go pick these guys up from school. And that's oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs>
That's when they cut in half and moved on the corner. The No. Hey, sir. Hey, I hear you. You're recognizing it like species wide. So you have to, if you gotta lean like this, the tree has to be like full on growth. And then you've got control of where it falls. Okay. Because if you cut the tree and you've got to lean like a crab, it's already good control. Oh, we took down two earlier today. We had like. Big mistake, guys. You could actually like see how it came down there. I don't know. We're just in here helping get that out. My name is Dennis Allstrand. I live in Mol uh, Molokai Road in uh, Nanavali here. And I'm so appreciative. And I'm glad to have a chance to say things. I'm trying to drive by and see a helpful truck go, hey, you guys did it. Hi, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for taking that. For everyone who is working on uh, getting our power back, these millions of trees around, we're in Nanavali here, these millions of trees around, thank you. Helco, National Guard, County, every, all you guys, it's awesome. Okay, well, we're going to continue on. Yeah, you too. From the beginning, we've been going out, assessing the damage of the hurricane, and then just pretty much helping out wherever we can, according to the um, civil defense. Okay. Oh, it's, it's going well. Well, we're out there trying to patrol the streets, hoping everything's safe, helping out HPD as much as we can. It's a combined effort. Uh, so far, everyone's been friendly. Everyone's trying to help everyone out there. Yeah, um, so originally we went out, we started doing damage assessment for the civil defense. We went out um, just making sure that the civilians or the population out there were tended to, gave um, them water, we also gave them um, MREs if needed. Our main priority and mission was to go out there and do damage assessment for the civil defense. Yeah, he doesn't pull on. 